Have you ever pondered about the true nature of the moon? The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, has been fascinating humans for millennia. It's a familiar sight in the night sky with its grayish-white luminance, casting a serene and mystical glow over the Earth. Most of us have been taught that the moon is a solid body, much like our own planet. We've been told it's covered in a layer of dust and rocks, with mountains, valleys and craters scattered across its surface. This is the common perception of the moon, a perception that has been reinforced by science and popular culture alike. But let's take a moment to challenge this perception. After all, isn't it a mark of human curiosity to question, to explore, to seek answers beyond the accepted norms? So let's delve into an intriguing question. What if the moon is not a solid body? What if it's something entirely different? What if it's made of plasma? Plasma, the fourth state of matter, is an ionized gas, a super hot mixture of electrons and ions. Plasma is found in places like the sun and other stars, where temperatures are so high that they strip electrons from atoms, creating an electrically charged soup. So, what if our moon, instead of being a cold, solid sphere, is actually a ball of this super hot, electrically charged matter? Perhaps it sounds like science fiction, a plot from a far-fetched space opera. Or maybe it sounds like a conspiracy theory, a fantastical tale spun to create doubt and suspicion. But isn't that the beauty of scientific inquiry? Even the most bizarre theories can sometimes lead to incredible discoveries. So, let's not dismiss this idea outright. Let's explore it, understand it, and see where it leads us. Because if this theory holds any truth, it could completely revolutionize our understanding of the moon, our celestial companion. But what if everything we've been told was a deception? What if the moon is actually made of plasma? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this tantalizing theory in the next scene. Imagine the moon, not as a solid sphere, but as a plasma entity. A fascinating concept, isn't it? This is the crux of the plasma theory, a theory that has been floating around for quite some time, sparking debates and stirring curiosity. So, what exactly is this plasma theory? Plasma, the fourth state of matter, is an ionized gas containing equal numbers of positively charged ions and negatively charged electrons. The behavior of this state of matter is governed by electromagnetic forces. In the plasma theory, the moon is believed to be a gigantic plasma sphere, not a solid body as we've been taught in school. Now, why would anyone believe the moon could be a plasma entity? Well, the answer lies in the moon's peculiar characteristics that have baffled scientists for centuries. For instance, the moon's surface reflects sunlight in a way that's not entirely consistent with the properties of solid bodies. Some suggest that this could be an indication of plasma phenomena. Moreover, the moon's strange seismic activity, or moonquakes as they're often called, also raises eyebrows. Unlike earthquakes, moonquakes are not caused by tectonic activity, which is strange for a supposed solid body. And then there's the issue of the moon's disproportionate size in relation to Earth. It's far too big to have been captured by Earth's gravity, according to standard physics. Could it be that it's not as solid and heavy as we think? Now all these peculiarities don't necessarily prove that the moon is a plasma entity, but they do raise questions about our understanding of the moon. They give birth to theories, to hypotheses, and yes, even to conspiracy theories. Does this theory seem far-fetched? Let's delve deeper. There are several pieces of evidence that could potentially support the plasma moon theory. Firstly, let's consider the irregularities in moon landing footage. We're all familiar with the iconic images of Neil Armstrong's first steps on the lunar surface and Buzz Aldrin planting the American flag. However, some point out that the flag appears to ripple as if caught in a breeze in a place where there is supposedly no atmosphere. Could this be due to the moon's surface being composed of plasma, a charged gas? that could potentially influence the movement of objects around it. Next, we turn to anomalies in lunar surface images. Some photographs show what appear to be lunar waves, distortions that move across the surface of the moon. These waves have been likened to the ripples you might see on a plasma TV screen, leading some to suggest that they could be evidence of the lunar surface being composed of plasma. There are also those who argue that the moon's surface behaves oddly under certain light conditions. For example, during a lunar eclipse, the moon can appear to glow with a reddish hue. This is generally explained by the Earth's atmosphere refracting sunlight onto the moon's surface. But some propose an alternative explanation. 
could the moon's surface be acting like a plasma screen, emitting its own light? Moreover, consider the strange phenomena known as transient lunar phenomena, or TLPs. These are short-lived changes in the appearance of the lunar surface, such as brief flashes of light or color changes. Could these be the result of plasma activity on the moon's surface? Let's not forget the lunar ranging experiments, where lasers are pointed at retro reflectors left by Apollo missions on the moon's surface. The time it takes for the light to return is used to calculate the distance between the Earth and the moon. But if the moon is plasma, wouldn't that interfere with these measurements? Yet the measurements are consistent. Interesting, isn't it? Now, it's important to note that these pieces of evidence are largely hypothetical. The mainstream scientific consensus still supports the idea that the moon is a solid body, and there are plenty of alternative explanations for the anomalies we've discussed. For instance, the flag in the moon landing footage could have been moving due to residual momentum from when it was planted, and the lunar waves could be the result of atmospheric distortion. But isn't it fascinating to consider the possibilities? A plasma moon would certainly turn our understanding of the universe on its head. It could open up new avenues for scientific exploration and potentially change the way we think about our place in the cosmos. So, could these anomalies be evidence of a plasma moon? Whether you're a die-hard skeptic or a curious mind, it's certainly a question worth pondering. Could NASA be deceiving us about the true nature of the moon? Let's take a journey down the rabbit hole of speculation and conjecture. Imagine, if you will, a world in which NASA the celebrated space agency has been withholding the truth about the moon's true nature. A world where the moon isn't a solid sphere, as we've been told, but a plasma entity. But why, you might ask, would NASA do such a thing? Well, one theory suggests that it might be to maintain control over the narrative of space exploration. If the moon were plasma and not solid, it would mean that we've never actually set foot on it, and the Apollo missions were a grand deception. This would be a massive blow to the credibility of the agency and could undermine public trust in their operations. Another theory posits that NASA is concealing the moon's true nature to protect certain vested interests. If the moon were plasma, it could have profound implications for physics and astronomy, potentially invalidating established theories and requiring a complete rethinking of our understanding of the universe. The fallout from such a revelation could be immense threatening the status quo and shaking the foundations of scientific communities. But how could NASA pull off such an elaborate deception? A plausible explanation is the use of advanced technology and sophisticated manipulation of information. With the resources at their disposal, NASA could create convincing simulations and falsify data to support the narrative of a solid moon. They could use their authority as a space agency to suppress alternate theories and discredit dissenting voices. And let's not forget the power of the media. NASA's moon landing in 1969 was broadcasted worldwide, captivating millions. The images of astronauts walking on the moon's surface are ingrained in our collective consciousness. If these images were fabricated, it would be a testament to the power of media manipulation and the shaping of public perception. Of course, these are just theories, speculative at best but they raise important questions about the nature of truth and the potential for deception on a grand scale. In a world where misinformation is rife and trust in institutions is waning, these theories tap into a pervasive sense of uncertainty and skepticism. They challenge us to question what we've been told and to seek out our own truths. But let's take a step back and consider the implications. If NASA is indeed deceiving us, what could be the implications? Well, the implications could be far-reaching. Not only would it shatter our understanding of the moon, but it could also have profound effects on our perception of space exploration, the credibility of scientific institutions, and our trust in the information we receive. In the end, these theories serve as a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and the pursuit of truth, no matter how uncomfortable it may be. Remember, the truth is out there, waiting to be discovered. It's up to us to find it. If the moon is indeed made of plasma, what could this mean for us? This question, my friends, could kickstart a new chapter in our understanding of the cosmos. Firstly, let's consider space travel. 
If our celestial neighbor is a plasma body, our current technology would be ill-equipped to land or even approach it. Traditional spacecraft are designed to withstand the rigors of vacuum and solid surfaces, not the high-energy state of plasma. Thus, a plasma moon would necessitate a complete overhaul of our space technology, pushing us to innovate and create new tools for exploration. Now, imagine the impact on our understanding of the universe. The plasma moon theory could force us to re-evaluate our current theories of planetary formation and celestial mechanics, shaking the very foundations of astrophysics. If the moon, one of the most studied celestial bodies, is not what we've believed it to be for centuries, what other assumptions might be wrong? Could it be that other celestial bodies, perhaps even planets, are also plasma? The implications are both staggering and exhilarating. Furthermore, a plasma moon could open up new avenues for scientific discovery. Plasma is a fascinating state of matter, behaving unlike solids, liquids or gases. It has unique properties that are essential in many areas of research, from nuclear fusion to quantum physics. Imagine the potential discoveries waiting for us on a moon made of plasma. We could unlock secrets of energy production, develop new materials, or even discover entirely new laws of physics. However, such a revelation would also bring about a profound sense of humility. For centuries we humans have gazed at the moon, written countless poems about it, and even walked on its perceived surface. If we were wrong about the moon's nature, it would be a stark reminder of how little we truly know about the universe, pushing us to question, to explore, and to learn more. A plasma moon could change everything we think we know about our universe. It's a wild thought, isn't it? But in the realm of cosmic mysteries, nothing is truly off the table. Off the Let's summarize what we've explored today. We've journeyed through some fascinating theories and possibilities, starting with the question, is the moon really a solid sphere? We delved into the plasma theory, which proposes that our moon, rather than being a solid mass, is actually a plasma entity. This theory, while seeming outlandish at first glance, has some compelling points to consider. We've examined evidence that could potentially support this theory, including some peculiarities in the moon's observed behavior and characteristics that seem to defy the laws of physics as we understand them. This includes inconsistencies in the moon's density and gravitational effects, as well as the unexplained phenomena of lunar transient events. From there, we shifted our gaze towards the possibility of a grand deception by NASA. We pondered upon the idea that the famous moon landing in 1969 might have been an elaborate hoax designed to conceal the true nature of the moon from the public. This theory, bolstered by anomalies in the moon landing footage, and testimonies from former NASA employees certainly provides food for thought. We then explored the implications of a plasma moon. What would it mean for our understanding of the universe if the moon were not a solid body but a plasma entity? It would certainly require us to rethink many of our established theories and models. From the way we understand gravity to the formation of celestial bodies, a plasma moon would turn our current knowledge upside down. In conclusion, the concept of the moon as a plasma entity, while controversial, presents a fascinating alternative perspective. It challenges our understanding of the universe and invites us to question, explore, and seek answers beyond the accepted norms. The moon, as a plasma entity, remains a fascinating and controversial theory. The question remains, is the moon really a plasma entity? The idea may seem far-fetched, even outlandish, but isn't that the beauty of science? It's a field that thrives on curiosity, on the relentless pursuit of the unknown. We owe it to ourselves to question, to probe, to seek out the truth, no matter how elusive it may seem. The moon, that celestial beacon that has inspired poets and guided explorers, might be more than a solid sphere. It might be a plasma entity, a fascinating new dimension to our understanding of the universe. Remember, science is not static. It's a living, breathing body of knowledge, constantly evolving, constantly surprising us. So keep asking questions, keep exploring, keep pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we think we know, until we know for sure the moon will continue to be a source of mystery and fascination.